Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes like the one I have to share with you today, but also books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very, very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day. Whenever I announce giveaways, there's usually a couple giveaways every month and whenever I go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today is a fantastic day because I have a special box from Hugo in a Box out of Canada to share with you. This is actually the box they put together for International Hugo Day, which was on February 28th, so I missed it by a couple of days, but I was actually having a very Hugo League weekend and sort of recovering from my cold, so I'm trying to get this up as soon as possible because I know that the contents inside are going to be fantastic. They have a quarterly lifestyle box and they have two different tiers now. There's one for $74.99, which always includes four to six items, and then there is the deluxe, the fuller size one which is seven to nine products and that is $114.99 of course in Canadian and then the shipping to the U.S. is 28 Canadian which is actually pretty reasonable so you wind up getting the box here in the U.S. for about $110, $115 but considering the contents, considering the thought and the effort that goes into the curation of this box and the amazing products by these Canadian makers I think it is well worth it but of course even though they usually send me that quarterly box for review I love what they do so much that when they do their in-between boxes like this limited edition box I'm sharing with you today I have to get in on it because I feel the FOMO so they are usually kind enough to give me a little discount which they did with this box and that is why I have to share it with you today so let's go ahead and get into it by the way if you are interested in subscribing to the quarterly box either size you can save 10% using the code Noel 10 as always I'll leave all that information for you guys in the description box below but let's get into it they're back to their regular box that it does come in a nice outer box and I am so thankful for that because the day that this arrived which was very soon after I got home from my trip it was raining oddly enough here in San Diego and uh, they still delivered my boxes but just left them in a big puddle as usual but the outer box definitely protected the inner box and I love these boxes because I use them for storage because they stack so nicely and they just look very nice and you get and of course you guys look how beautiful that is I'm just loving those colors it's very like springy they have their very contemporary uh, pine cone design there. And now, of course, I have to rip that beautiful tissue paper. I'm always so sad to do that. One of these days, I'm going to have to have them send it to me with the sticker not on there yet so that I can uh, show you guys and then also take a picture of it before it gets all ripped. So they did let me know, and I never know if it's Elisa or Jill that I'm talking to. This box is put together by two amazing sisters. They actually have two different social media accounts. They have Hugo in a Box and they also have Hugo Canada, so definitely follow both. But um, <laughs> I never know what uh, who I'm talking to when I am writing to them over on the DM, so apologies to, to Lisa and Jill. But they did let me know that the product card for this box is kind of down on the bottom, so they actually went ahead and sent it to me digitally, so I have the information to share with you and I don't have to dig around in the box so we can kind of do it as we go so this is what it looks like they have the funnest um funnest they have the most higgelig uh crinkle paper i have to say it's like very like chunky and i kind of love that so i'm gonna get this out of the way and i am seeing a couple other little papers in here there are like some exclusive promo codes from the makers they almost always include that which i think is really really nice we usually get a recipe as well and this time it is a nordic tomato soup and also danish walnut kisses so we got two different recipes which i'm excited about i still didn't get my valentine's grilled cheese and tomato soup so maybe i'll have to pass this on to my husband if he's feeling especially nice and wants to make me a homemade version she does mention on the exclusive maker promo code card that there are pine cones. It says, we love them as a simple way to bring the outdoors in, which is an integral part of creating a Hugo home. The one in this box was found around the outskirts of Winnipeg um, or our summer cabin in Lake of the Woods, Ontario. So that is super duper cool. I kind of always love that touch. I have quite the collection of Hugo in box pine cones now. And then we have a couple other um, little uh, coupon codes from the makers themselves that they probably printed up. So we did get a couple of those and that is kind 
kind of a nice extra perk. So I have kind of gotten some of the uh, shred out of the way. So now you're kind of getting to see a little bit more of a sneak peek of some of the items in here. What is Hygge? Just in case you are not part of the craze yet, it is the Danish concept of coziness. It's an atmosphere of comfort, uh, coziness, contentment. It says here to relax, enjoy the simple pleasures in life, share time with loved ones, and be in the moment. It is best served with warm food, drinks, candles, and blankets. So you get the idea. I always kind of associate it more with the fall and winter months for sure, but you can definitely have a Hugo lifestyle year round. So the first thing that I am pulling out looks to be something that I will enjoy. Probably a candle. I'm hoping a candle. Candles are very Hugo. It says this is Nordic Seaside, a zero waste candle planter. Now we've actually gotten one like this before, which was really cute. It was an adorable little um, candle that looked kind of like a jumbo marshmallow with like this really fun stand. So let's see what we got this time. Very similar, slightly different. Oh, this is so cute. So instead of having a separate piece with like a wire footing, it's this beautiful ceramic planter or vessel. It's got little feet on it, which I just think is so adorable. Um, kind of has uh, two different textures to the glaze and then it has that nice wood wick. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm guessing that that was uh, the scent was probably the Nordic Seaside. I am hoping so. It does have reuse instructions on the bottom in terms of how you probably get that vessel nice and clean so that you can use it as a planter. Super duper excited about this is the thing that we started with. So let me see what it says. This is from Vancouver, British Columbia. It says a rugged Icelandic seaside covered in midnight sand inspires the fresh outdoor scent where the strength of bergamot, cardamom, and yuzu is tempered by cypress trees and a dusting of peppercorn and black orchid. Ooh, that sounds so good. Perfectly paired with this Nordic looking container, a beautiful touch of clean, huge decor absolutely this is totally my style love it it's kind of minimalist but at the same time it has a warmth to it and that's what I love about Scandinavian design and all things Hugo so Oh, that is really nice. It's not like that same like fresh idea that you think of when you see a candle and it's called like ocean breeze or something. It definitely has some like warmer notes to it, which again, definitely goes with the idea of Hugo, but the idea of having that crackling candle in this beautiful little vessel and then being able to maybe put some succulents or something that I can maybe actually grow without killing it. Um, that sounds so lovely. And I just like that it's a dual purpose. So that's always a nice thing. We also got something sweet. I'm just going to dust it off a little bit. Now, you know, the uh, Scandinavians love their candy, which is something that I've learned through the subscription and others. So we got something from Sugar Joy, some sweet bliss Swedish candy, not fish, but candy. I love me some fruity like gummy candies. This looks so good, you guys. So this is a uh, watermelon sours. This company is out of Winnipeg says, it's no wonder that Scandinavians love their candy, hence why Sugar Joy is all things sweet and happy. Their gourmet treats imported from Sweden are, cust Sweden are custom designed and produced using Scandinavian recipes and only the highest quality ingredients. Giving back is also important to them as they donate a portion of sales to worthy causes, both within their community and beyond. So I love that it's a Canadian company that works with uh, Swedish makers. So that is very cool. Um, what else have we got? Oh, this looks good too. It looks like my um, label got a little bit discolored. I'm not really sure how or why, but I'm sure that the contents inside are going to be fantastic. This is from Toasty Bean. It is a flavored coffee. I love me a flavored coffee because then I don't feel the need to put any sugar or any um, creamer in it. So this is in the flavor of Caramel Sticky Bun, you guys, and I believe it is ground, so it does give us the directions. It just looks like it got like a little bit damp. I'm wondering if it's just if the uh, candle like no the candle was in a box so I don't know how that happened but got a little bit of moisture in there probably from the rain <laughs> but it's uh looks like it's gonna be fine so let's read about this delicious uh, coffee also out of Winnipeg it says Danes love their coffee and memories of warm and gooey sticky buns from that familiar bakery adorn this cozy comforting coffee Toasty Bean is proud to support women in agriculture in traditionally gender imbalanced communities and is committed to building a network that empowers women everywhere got it love that um so we got coffee i just need to get the sticky buns to uh to indulge in that sounds like a really nice treat sounds like a good weekend maybe with a nice book i'm i'm really feeling this box it's always something where i'm i just want to like sit and enjoy the box for like a week at a time 
All right, this looks fun. So it's called the Huga Game, cozy conversation in pleasant company. So Huga life is not like a solitary one, even though we think of it as being those like comforting, quiet moments with a cup of tea and like cozied up in a blanket. You can definitely enjoy it and enjoy the company of others. So this is kind of nice because sometimes we need those conversation starters. So it says, this is out of Orebro, Sweden. It says the Huga Game is all about bringing people together by encouraging friends and family to share their stories and bond over discussions discussions of the big and small things in life. Oh, it's a good idea. It says perfect for a night in and a small party or a dinner with friends or family. So, you know, sometimes we have all talked about whatever we've been watching on Netflix and sometimes it's like not everybody has read the book that you just read. So we might need to steer the conversation in a like a little bit of a deeper direction, but without talking about politics, for example. So this seems like a good option for that. So it says it tells us about uh, Hugo again. It says all about bringing people together. This game has more than 300 thought-provoking questions designed to spark meaningful conversation and create the right atmosphere for a Huga evening, perfect for a night in. Um, so I'm sure that it's like kind of cozy, like like life aspiration kinds of questions, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see. So we got like, so it does tell us the rules on the inside. It says the questions can be asked in any order, but the classic way is to have one person read all the questions on a card to the person on their left who answers them one at a time, and then that person draws the next card. Um, so I don't know that that's like there's not like points or anything I don't know that there's like a winner, but that's the idea. So everybody gets their turn So I'm gonna not open up the uh, like nice big stack of cards But let's see it says on this one card. It says what word or phrase do you tend to overuse? I overuse actually definitely uh, Several other things. I'm sure you guys could tell me from watching my videos Another question is if you could be guaranteed an honest answer. What would you ask and to whom? Wow, that's a that's a big one And then at what age would you say people are generally happiest? Wow, that is like a good question so definitely some thought-provoking ones it might be a long evening you might want to uh, have have some beverages and some snacks but it seems like a good idea so I'm definitely gonna keep that on hand because I love those kinds of conversation starters we got something for the bath lovers it's from a company called smooch it's black raspberry vanilla bubble bath wow it's 8.5 fluid ounces so it's a very pretty pink color let me see if I can find this on here so it says uh, enjoy tons of bubbles with just a few drops. Black raspberry vanilla is a fruity berry fragrance with top notes of peach, coconut, wild berry, bergamot, and strawberry. Wow, that sounds amazing, actually. It says all of Smooch's products are always responsibly sourced, ethically created, and never tested on animals. We love to hear that. I am not a bath girl. I wish that I was because it sounds like that's going to smell amazing, but I will pass that on to someone who is. This is really fun. So we got uh, from Moongazing Studio, and I believe I've actually gotten the same crafting kit in a crafting tea box, which is also very Huga. Um, and it is a macrame um, kit, which like I love the colors that they selected. We've got these really pretty like natural tone and then like two kinds of sage colors, and they make these really pretty leaves. So they gave us the kit. So it says, um, again, this is from Moongazing Studios. The, they're out of Ontario. It says Moongazing Studio was born as a way to fundraise for a local community wildlife rescue and educational center. It soon became a business offering DIY macrame kits, creating business DIY macrame kits to creative souls everywhere. It's a great way to get your Huguet on and add cozy decor to your space. It soon became a business offering DIY macrame kits. Man, that took me a while to read that. The the font uh, here is a little bit light because my printer is almost running out of ink. So this is really fun. It does have like a little wooden stick and some beads. I made the kit when I first got it and I really enjoyed the process. It's super easy in terms of macrame, which is something that I've always wanted to try. And then it came out so nice and very like boho chic that I actually gifted it to some friends who had just bought a house and they really love it. So I'm kind of happy to get another kit and do it again. I just enjoyed it. It just was super simple and I just, I think it's a great cause and um, it's a really fun activity to do. So let's see what else we've got. I've got a couple other little things here and then I think I did finally find the product card here at the bottom so let me see if I can pull that out. It's always hard to like lift that from the bottom. Wow this is really pretty. So look at the uh, pretty card that they made us this time that's got like a wall hanging or a plant hanger and some candles. Very Huga. And so this is what the uh, product card actually looks like. So here on this one column they're telling us a little bit more about what Huga feels like and then of course this is all of the contents of the box which is basically 
basically what I've been reading from. And then we have one final item, which I'm going to shake out a little bit here on my nice clean floor, floor, unfortunately. But this just looks so soft and cozy, doesn't it, you guys? It feels like, um, it feels like not flannel, but it feels like a nice fleece is what it feels like. So let's see what it says about this. This is the Grey Matters Winter Cowl from Ancaster, Ontario. It says the winter cowl scarf will be the go-to scarf you'll reach for every day this winter, outdoors or in the slender design. Outdoors, worn, let me see what it says. Outdoors, I'll see if on a better, or in. The slender design is the perfect complement for both sweaters and coats. The maker is comfort craving and creator of adaptable, cozy and stylish cold weather accessories. So it's basically a very short, oh, I see. So it doesn't actually open up. So it's like a very um, small, a narrow kind of infinity scarf if that makes sense so I'm trying to show you guys but you can see they have actually did a closure for it so it looks like a nice like blanket but it kind of creates a nice bit of asymmetry to it so it's got this like weave to it you can see there's three different colors and it's not like just a typical basket weave there's some extra texture to it and then you can kind of just kind of scrunch it over your head and then it's gonna poke out of your out of your um, out of your coat or what have you but it's kind of nice because it has this like built-in point at the bottom so it's gonna give it like whatever you're wearing a little bit of style so even when you take off your coat then you're still gonna have this beautiful cowl that kind of adds so you can kind of have like a lower neckline you can wear some of those like deep V sweater sweater blouses and then you can kind of give yourself that extra bit of warmth with this so I kind of love this how like modern it is how cool it is you can probably wear it like either way I don't think there's like an upright uh, a top or a bottom to it I would probably wear it like I said with the uh, the, the closure kind of going off to one side in the front and then that nice point down in the front so it looks like a nice handkerchief maybe they give us some like styling tips but I think this is so cool so yes you can see wow they have really cool items so here is someone wearing the cowl they also have a headband they also have like finger warmers like the or the fingerless gloves I think that's really neat too I wear those a lot even though I live in San Diego you guys sometimes it does get cold but it is a very nice like you can see thin fleece so I feel like I could definitely use this and we do get go go to get some winter uh, weather sometimes so how pretty I really love this I think this might be my favorite item of course the candle too and of course the gummies but let's just talk about everything that we got once again we got our toasty bean caramel sticky bun coffee. I'm very excited to try that out. We got our Nordic seaside candle in a footed planter that I am in love with that design. We got our sugar joy watermelon sours. Those are going to be delicious. I'm already sort of ready to eat those. We got our smooch bath and body black raspberry vanilla bubble bath, which I will share with someone. This gray matters uh, cowl, which I just think is so cool, so modern, so soft and warm. And we also got our macrame feather kit, which I'm very excited to get into that. I've been loving doing like little crafts, especially when all of the materials are included. And I'm sure they've got, yeah, they've got all the instructions because I don't remember the knots, but it's really easy once you get going. And then finally, we also got that fun Huga game, the, the Huga game uh, from Sweden to uh, stimulate some fun conversation on a cozy night in with friends. So definitely love that. Good for a date night too, for sure. Let me know what you guys thought about this international Huga Day box from Huga in a Box. Let me know if you're a subscriber. I definitely suggest getting in on the next quarterly box if you can. Again, you can use that code NOEL10. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.